guys, who is this and who you're looking at in the video today? Well, it's me. It's Mama Fody. And guess what? I have a different hair color again. Now let's go over this. Within the last month, I have had, hmm, I think I've had brown hair with lavender. I think I have had aqua color blue hair like that. I have had silver hair. I have had burgundy red hair. Now, yeah, I did have the silver hair. Yeah, I liked it. Within a week, it started washing out and turning yellow. So today, I decided, you know what? Frig this crap. I'm going back to my natural brown hair. And within a couple weeks, I probably will still hi start highlighting it brown again. But you know what? This is what I had to do today. If you're ever interested, and you ever have silver hair or pastel hair, what you have to do is, you have to get the color eraser, okay? You have to um, put that on your hair with some um, developer solution, like a, um, I'm gonna say, 10 volume developer, okay? With the color eraser, okay? You're gonna mix that. You're gonna put it on top of the silver. You're gonna let it develop till you you see your hair, all the silver is coming out. It's like almost like a yellowish color, okay? You're gonna rinse it out, like I did for the last month. Bleach and bleach and bleach, but you don't wanna use bleach because my hair is so freaking damaged, you don't even know. So, but after that, the most important part you have to do after you do that because we're doing the reversal now. I'm adding color. So you have to put a filler in. And the color filler that I had to put in, okay, is red. I took like a copper red, not very dark, okay? You only let that sit maybe five, 10 minutes to fill in that yellowish hair that I had, okay? Only keep it on like for five minutes. It's called the color filler. And since I'm going, I went back dark again, I had to put red in to cover up that yellow, okay? So then after that, I kept it on like for 10 minutes. Um, right away, I washed it out. Then, it only took me, I'm gonna say an hour, hour and a half at the most to get this gorgeous color, which is called, um, it's by Redken. Redken is one of the best colors, guys. This one is called 5NGI by Redken. It's a natural gold, iridescent natural by Redken. Oh my God. There you go. No? There you go. No? There you go. Is that better? Cover. Redken number 5NGI. Beautiful brown color. Kept it on 20 minutes. So, if you ever want this color, that's what you have to get. And you have to mix this with, um, I only mixed it with 10 volume developer because you're depositing. When you deposit, you only have to use 10. Okay? Only 10 when you deposit color. And how I've been conditioning my hair guys is with also Redken all, all soft mega mask after I wash shampoo my hair I put this on I, and um, leave it on for five minutes and then I rinse it off and it's really been conditioning my scalp and my hair like I said I put so much bleach in, in the last month <laughs> I, I told you I'm, I'm whacked out I'm sick I've had so many color hairs and I think this one so far is my favorite. The gray, it was okay, but I think it doled out my face. My eyes were not as blue as they are now. And, um, you know, I will be highlighting it with some blonde. I think, I don't know, I'm sort of liking it dark like this. 
but the silver after a week it was already turning yellow and crap and they said it is harder to keep than a red so I don't need that in my life but I wanted to show you because I am so excited because I'm going out with the girls tonight all my childhood friends and you know we will have a blast so I will put my depends on tonight because it could be a P night for me because when I get together with all my girlfriends from high school you know what happens then? We start laughing, we start giggling, talking about stupid, stupid things from the past. And I most likely will pee my pants, but it won't only be me. It will be some other girls too peeing, laughing and peeing, laughing and peeing, having a couple drinks. And no, I'm not a lush. I am not a lush at all. I'm a good girl. But yes, we will have some conversations about when, maybe, we will have the conversation about one time they dropped me off. We have a thing up in our mountains here. Um, and it's called the devil's tree or something like that. And they dropped me off there one time. I'm not even kidding. This is my best friends. They dropped me off there at the devil's tree. And they threatened to throw me out of the car and leave me there. Now me. I'm a panic. I'm freaking losing my mind thinking, okay, they are going to drop me off here. I will kill them. I will hate them forever. And they're trying to throw me out of the car, trying to throw me out of the car. I say, yeah, you mother effers. I will never speak to you again ever in life. And I promise I would never speak to them again because I'm one of those scared people. I can't, I will not go in haunted houses. I will not go on hay rides. I will not do any of that stuff. And if they threaten to do this to me, oh, it's so funny, it's so funny. No, it's not effing funny. Maybe it's effing funny to you, but it's not funny to me because if you ever did that, I don't like it. I'm scared. I won't do it. And they're trying to push me out, push me out, push me out. Are you freaking kidding me now? It's not funny. But they tried to do that to me one day and I flipped out. Yeah, I flipped. But, you know, they think it's a freaking joke to do these things to me. Try to get me in a haunted house. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Mama Forty's not doing it. So, yeah, they try to do those things to me. I try to do things to them. You know, it's always a freaking joke going on with us guys. But, yeah, that's what we do to each other. We, su we make each other suffer. You know, all this kind of crap. Like my girlfriend. One of my girlfriends. She has OCD. She knows when something's changed, something's moved. On one, <laughs> on one time, we were at her house for a party. So me and my friend decided, you think she's going to notice if we turn her candles upside down or do this and do this? And I was like, so we did. We took all her candles out <laughs> that were hanging on, on her walls and we turned them upside down. Turn the pictures upside down. Well, for God's sakes, guess what? She's going around. All right. Who is the funny one? Okay, Patty. Okay, you. Why you have to be so effing funny? <laughs> because you do things to me. I do things to you. And, it, you know, it ends up to be so funny. Everybody's laughing. But to that person, it's not funny. <laughs> My son, Nicky Foti, he has OCD. If something is not even on it, like if there's three candles and one space a little bit too far from the other one, oh my God, he has to go right there and he has to even them up. Oh, two inches here, two inches there. He's a freaking fanatic, okay? I might have some tendencies, but not like him. He's a freaking wacko too. So like I said, guys, I like my funky hair. I hope you like it too. It's only the fourth or fifth color I did today, but you know, I like to do things. And you know what they say, ah, your hair's going to fall out. It might get a little dry. It might get like straw. But you know what? Mm, life's a game. I play the game. Condition it, condition it. Oh, ah. It will go back to what it was. I mean, it's not like, like uh, you're leaving the uh, bleach on until your hair falls out in chunks. No. I'm conditioning, conditioning, it'll go back to normal. I think I'm looking a little hot and sexy. I'm going to go put a new outfit on for tonight. You know me, Miss Fanatic. So, yes, I'm going to go do that. I'm going to have fun with a girlfriend. I'll let you know how everything goes. And uh, I hope you learned something. 
So remember, when you bleach your hair and you want to go silver, you want to go aqua, you want to go blue, you must put a toner on before you put the color on. And if you want to go back to your other dark hair color, you need to put a filler on. So if you have any questions for me, leave them in my um, below and I will answer your questions because I'm learning a lot about this stuff now. And if you want my funky new haircut, mm -mm 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 -mm, I could tell you a little about that. And let me know if you think I should do some highlights, but I think right now I am looking too sexy for you. So, guys, peace, love ya, and uh, Mama 40 out. Bye.